aren't these beautiful purple and peach colors now I can kind of smell them I'm getting a floral smell and that's because I think one of them busted open I'm not sure which one uh, I kind of give them a rinse this one has like a spider web silk looking thing you know how like spiders like to hide in these little wrinkles so I'm gonna I'm gonna eat this one right here but check out this color I don't want to get too close because I don't want it to stay out of focus look at that ain't that gorgeous just look at that peach purple and then when they blend it's almost like a lavender I mean it doesn't get any better than that Let's see what it tastes like so <clears throat> to do that pop this stem off real quick uh, like I said one of these pop and I got a floral vibe from it but even if it's floral the pods alone qualify for ornamental value so I don't know how the uh, foliage looks I'm pretty sure it's dark but the pepper alone is just so pretty it would be worth growing just for that this is a placenta Oh, that seed's falling out. Are we going to focus today? Come on, there we go. Alright. That's the placenta. Pretty average. This is kind of a small pepper. Um, I got this from... Probably should have started with that. My bad. Badge Bacon. So he is a friend of mine that I met in the Pepper Lovers community. PLC for short. Started by Kingstar on, uh, I think, G Plus back in the day. They now have a Discord, they have a Facebook group. If you're more tech savvy and you're familiar with Discord through gaming or whatever other hobby you, or interest you have, then then it's, I don't know, it's more appealing for me and maybe more appealing for you. So I'll put a link like I usually do in the description. You can join PLC's Discord. But I got these box, or I got this in a box among other peppers from Badged Bacon. And it's pretty common in that community to... Uh, sell boxes of peppers for a little bit lower rate than the people like to charge in the Facebook groups because especially at the beginning of the season man they're money hungry because you know it's it's a supply and demand thing so only the the southern states or Florida growers they kind of get the 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 first I don't want to say dibs the first they get, they get the first wave of a harvest or the first flush of peppers because they're in a warmer climate down here in Florida and well frost who never heard of her so they get peppers out sooner quicker and then that that demands like okay well i'm gonna charge 40 or 50 or whatever dollars plc come on man they'd be selling peppers anywhere from between 20 dollars 30 dollars i've seen 35 but i mean sometimes they'll throw goodies in there it's 35 is still a good price i would never pay 40 personally 35 is a good price that's my, probably my max, but like I know Mark, to Mark and used to sell them for 35 and he put a cookie in there and he put, put his stickers and junk, so I mean, and he had good pods, so it's worth it. You know, a lot of work goes into growing these, but enough of my rambling. Figured I'd, I haven't talked to y'all in a minute, so talk a little bit, but this is going to be Thor's Thunderbolt, whole pod, whole massive pod. Here goes nothing. Floral, immediate floral. Thor's perfume, Thor's cologne. <laughs> Back of the throat. <laughs> so. If I, can, if I can talk, I would. I'm just going to get interrupted. It's scorching. 
my tolerance could have dropped a little. <sighs> Insane back of the throat. And then really high <gasps> on the I'll explain it in a, in a minute. Just give me a second. What the heck? Yeah, I think my tolerance is a little low. So the hiccups are gone. I can at least talk through the pain. It's pretty hot. Back in the throat, clearly. Now the thing about it is it did something I've never had. It hit the back of the throat, but the roof of the mouth right when they border, border like right in the I forget what the that thing that hangs in the back of your throat I forget what it's called like right above that <clears throat> almost felt like vapor like if I inhaled flames it felt like where it wasn't touching my throat like it felt like someone held a match in the back of my throat and it just cooked it. Gosh, that's hot. Even, even for a small pod, but them small pods, they can pack a punch because, well, they're small. It's like, I don't know, con concentrated it feels like. I've had small pods like this nuke me and then I've had bigger pods that don't. I don't know. And then now my eyebrows burning because I wiped it. That's hot. That's so hot. Oh, back of the throat hurts. But it is what it is. It is what it is. <sighs> Man. Whew. It's peaked, but it still hurts really bad. It's like a, it's like an eight, almost a nine for me. At least where my to with my tolerance the way it is right now, which I'm sure it's dropped because I haven't been eating peppers. It's so hot burning the sides of the tongue right now and then the back of the throat in that same spot just not as bad but the sides of the tongue are getting lit up really good especially this right side I don't know my endorphins I think they're broken or they're not releasing completely because I feel like I'm on the edge of one but I'm not quite there I'm not like a capsaicin junkie where I'm going to go chase the endorphin rush. I actually like to just sit here and burn. It's kind of, like I said, it's more of a challenge to myself and it's kind of fun. But obviously don't want to push it to where I'm just throwing up. I just had some perfectly good Taco Bell. I'm not going to go waste that. What do I look like? That'd be crazy. That's hot. So I'm at like a six now, maybe six, seven. It's really hot, it's a lingering burn. Really oily. I mean, I didn't really sit there and examine the oils, but it had to be packed full. And just especially just like barely touching it and I touched my eyebrow, come on, you got hair. It's supposed to protect here, what the heck? And it's burning through it. And I'm rubbing it in and I'm sure that's helping. Sorry for the background noise, it's Florida. You get to hear the Kakatas and the red winged blackbirds and bats. Whew. Okay, it's dropped. Not an endorphin rush, I think it's just wearing off. But yeah, that was pretty hot. So the history on that, I didn't cover it. Maybe that gives you a reason to stay and watch me burn. The history of the Thor's Thunderbolt. Supposedly, it was grown in Australia, North Queensland, I think someone said, uh, by chili seeds with a Z at the end of seeds, I think, and supposedly named by Ross Barber. 
and he's pretty popular in the pepper community, chili community, whatever you want to call it. <sighs> Man, that was hot. But the flavor? Mm. Really? So the flavor on that started out floral. What a shock. And then just a pungent Chenin's flavor, right? So it wasn't like, it didn't hit like, you know, sweet or fruity or anything like that. It's very chenin's -y. It just tasted almost chemical. I like that primatology when I had it. It's very chenin's -y, very pepper forward. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, a little bit of bitterness was in there. Not too much. Wasn't really that great flavor, but it, I mean, I guess it'd make a cool powder. It makes a cool pepper to grow. Look at that shape. Oh, that's a thumbnail right there. I've already made it on my mind. That is the thumbnail right there. Let me post for it. Anyway, no, nah, but like seriously, this is a gorgeous coloring on a pod, and then the plants. I think they are dark foliage stuff like that. I'm growing thunderstorm. It ain't doing too hot. They are starting to bounce back the peppers right here because it's starting to cool off. Not really. By cool off I mean it went from 97 degrees daily to 90 degrees daily. So which means slightly cooler night temperatures, slightly cooler morning and afternoon. Just enough to let them bounce back. But the, they're in that heat they flower, flowers fall off, repeat. I don't know. It is what it is. My indoor hydro setup's doing pretty good, so I know how to grow peppers. It's just the heat's kind of a limiting factor. It's been a really hot year. I'm going to upgrade from 40% to 60% shade cloth, and I hope next year that helps me out. But we're already going on over 12, 13 minutes or whatever, so I'm going to cut it right here. Thank you for watching.